Anda kembali dalam Tech Conference 2021 dengan tema Future 5G, Global Connectivity, Cloud Computing, and Internet of Things. Dan kali ini kita akan masuk dalam sesi Q&A masih bersama Bapak Suris Subramaniam, Chief Technology Officer PT Smart Friend Telekom Tbk. Pak Suris, as we mentioned on uh, the latest segment that we, we want to discuss even more further about uh, what already been done between a smart friend and the 5G project. So yeah. until today, what would be the preparation of a smart friend for 5G? Okay, so mm -hmm. I start with, um, as I mentioned, smart mm -hmm. friend evolved from CDMA to 4G, mm -hmm. which means uh, our network is already fully modernized from backhaul perspective, from the core network perspective. So it's, it's I would say, 5G ready, mm -hmm. more ready than, you know, others who have many other technology built together. So that's number one. Number two, I said in 2019, we took the initiative to try and get a trial license mm -hmm. to demonstrate some of the 5G uh, use cases. In the process, we also learn because we know the, the spectrum will come much later. Mm -hmm. So we have done a lot of preparation and we know how to execute. Mm -hmm. So we are just in the process of No, uh, waiting for the right spectrum, mm -hmm. and we will execute as what is necessary. Yeah. Really, so really interesting. Yeah. So, uh, how do you see and how do you project this 5G technology in Indonesia mm -hmm. will be moving on to the next five years? And how will Smart Friend tackle it? Yeah, okay. So, I, I write on what Pam mm -hmm. say, you know, so we, we need to ensure the industry gets the benefit mm -hmm. as soon as possible. So in the next five years, this will be really more on enterprise uh, use cases, following the businesses, especially manufacturing, mm -hmm. health services, as well as country like Indonesia is so wide, the fiber penetration will be a challenge. So that mm -hmm. also the fixed wireless access is the third area that we see will be blooming. Mm -hmm. Besides, of course, the consumer side, you know, consumer side will still benefit from high resolution video, the best gaming experience. Mm -hmm. So I think both sides will benefit. So I think in five years time, more towards manufacturing, which will help the country GDP. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, consumers will also see uh, mm -hmm. their life changing with this 5G. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you mentioned, both sides will benefit. It means everyone will get the benefit yes, of the yes, project. Yes. Uh, does it mean that a smart friend will commercialize the 5G technology in the near future? Yeah, so what we are mm -hmm. trying to do is, uh, again, as I said, uh, I, I write on parliamentary, the spectrum mm -hmm. is one of the key, key mm -hmm. factors to the 5G, right? So each operator have their own asset of spectrum. Mm -hmm. So within that spectrum, we are trying to do a small step of 5G, right? Wherever there is potential, we mm -hmm. will try to do it, which we are trying to first get the ULO, is mm -hmm. what we all have to achieve first, very soon. Then after we'll do in a selected pocket, mm -hmm. while waiting for the, the real spectrum, which I think Cominfo has the roadmap of certain spectrum to be released at certain timeline. Mm -hmm. Then those use cases can fit in as soon mm -hmm. as we go get those spectrums. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so uh, can we uh, see as smart friend, uh, the, the project that been doing in smart friend, uh, especially this 5G project, can uh, give more advantage to the consumer uh, in the next five years? Yeah. So I think uh, those demonstration which we have done is more for industry, mm -hmm. which is uh, what the real 5G use cases mm -hmm. will benefit compared to how it's going to benefit the consumer. Mm. Consumer already benefiting with 4G to a certain mm. extent. Mm. Everything we do, we do in mobile already. What more you want to do in mobile, right? So that goes to the next level of <laughs> watching high-resolution video. <laughs> You're right, yes. You want to watch a video that is so real, plus you want to play the gaming, you know, mm -hmm. which is, demands more speed and latency. So that's really the consumer benefit, mm -hmm. which, which 5G is going to come soon. Mm -hmm. The real one is really the how do we progress certain uh, sector mm -hmm. by using technology, right? So I think that's where we are trying to make more more uh, effort mm -hmm. to demonstrate. See? So we all need to learn 
we as an operator need to learn, the manufacturing segment have to learn because they need to transform to mm -hmm. digital. So I think in the process, in five years, you will see a different world. Mm -hmm. you know, that's how I see it. Okay, so talking about the readiness of a smart friend with this uh, 5G project and uh, towards the era of 5G, how can uh, and what is the support, the detailed support of uh, smart friend for the customer and also the small medium industry yeah. in the meantime and the next five years for the 5G era? Okay, so I think immediately we are, as I said, within the spectrum we have, mm -hmm. we're trying to get our ULO license first. Mm -hmm. Then we will try to introduce in, in a small step whatever 5G can benefit. Mm -hmm. And that will tie into the ecosystem. We cannot turn on 5G, but there are no devices that you can use to you know, uh, enjoy the network. So this has to go hand in hand together. So for mm -hmm. consumers, mm -hmm. we will slowly introduce but the moment we get the right spectrum then you can see a big change in 5g but the spectrum has to come with also ecosystem mm -hmm. you have to be able to buy a handset from the store which is 5g ready so we need to also wait for that to mature mm -hmm. so that's one consumer then for the for the sme or the the enterprise segment I think there we have several use cases where we can immediately introduce mm -hmm. and some we'll need to wait for uh, different phases. Mm -hmm. So I think putting all this together, the roadmap is there mm -hmm. and there are, as you saw, many countries has also done it. Mm -hmm. So there are also solutions out there. Mm -hmm. So it's just that when we can build the infrastructure and bring in the solutions. So it's just, it's just there. Okay, so know? now what the customer, the consumer can do is wait until the project is being done at, right. in the meantime, right? Right, right. Okay. We just need to wait for the right spectrum for the mm -hmm. country. Meanwhile, I think there are no, nothing stopping us to give what the consumer demand. Mm -hmm. We still give in whatever needed in our 4G mm -hmm. network, but we will get more in 5G for sure. Really, really interesting. So now we are moving on to the question that already been Uh, given to us by our viewers kita mendapatkan pertanyaan dari Anisa pertanyaannya langsung kepada Pak Sures so the question would be uh, would would 5G can affect the speed of the 4G network no mm -hmm. so i think uh, let's get the context right as i said 4G will always be there It, it's mm -hmm. like a net right You, 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 you go to 5G, you fall down, you fall to the 4G. 4G mm -hmm. speed, what we experience now, will always be there. Mm -hmm. In fact, it will get better once we introduce 5G because a lot of, once the devices are there, many of those customers can enjoy 5G. Mm -hmm. So 4G will be more uh, free up you know, to do what we, uh, 4G customers need to do. Mm -hmm. So I think there's no impact to 4G per mm -hmm. se it will only get better, mm, the okay. way I will put it, you know. Okay, so 4G will, uh, will get better with the coming of uh, 5G. 5G in the yes. next few years. Okay, then uh, we'll, we have another question from our viewers, Indra from Bogor. And the question is, since smart friend wins the tender of 5G frequency, what kind of challenge that smart, smart friend facing to implementation 5G in Indonesia now? Yeah, so, so I, I give an analogy. The 5G spectrum is called 5G spectrum, but it's the spectrum that SmartFriend already have. Mm -hmm. So SmartFriend had a three lane highway, right? Mm -hmm. So this additional spectrum will make it to four lane, right? So the three lane highway, like maybe 100 cars can go very Uh, without any traffic jam, right? Mm -hmm. Now we open up the highway overnight with the new spectrum. So first we let the 4G customer enjoy mm -hmm. this, what we call 5G spectrum award. Mm -hmm. The moment there's more and more handsets that support 5G comes into the country, then we can slowly also put 5G cars into the same mm -hmm. highway. That's how I put it. Today the highway, Uh, yeah? mm -hmm. It has expanded enough, the highway. Yes, yeah. Now, 
4G is more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Now, when 5G comes with more devices, the mm -hmm. mix of 5G will run in that highway. That's mm -hmm. how we see it. This is. Okay, so uh, what about the infrastructure uh, for 5G that smart friend already or right. uh, been doing right now? Yeah, so uh, when I said we are all modernized 4G network, mm -hmm. so the network is there and the spectrum that recently awarded is also the same 4G spectrum. Mm -hmm. So our infrastructure is already there. Mm -hmm. Now, what we are saying is this highway already occupied by 4G uh, customers, mm -hmm. right? So 5G will be the real new spectrum mm -hmm. that we will get after the reforming will happen, right? Within this existing spectrum, which infrastructure is already there, mm -hmm. we can introduce 5G, as I said, after the ULO mm -hmm. certification. Okay, yeah. so uh, is there any challenges in doing the 5G project? Okay, there's no, uh, yes. the biggest challenge, mm -hmm. there are of course challenges. Mm -hmm. Biggest challenge is to get more fiber mm -hmm. to the uh, cell towers, right? Mm -hmm. Today with 4G, we don't need <coughs> that many fiberization. So that's why, you know, there's some synergy that we are partnering with Moratel. Now, you know, we are all together now to build more fiber to the network in order to be more ready for 5G. Mm -hmm. We are ready, but to be more ready, we need more fiber. Mm -hmm. I think that's the answer to that. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, about doing the project that you said that you uh, create uh, cooperation with Moratel, yeah. how do you see the uh, map of uh, uh, challenges uh, for the players in yeah. in the project? Is there because we know that a lot of players also doing the same project? How do you see well, well, the map of? Yeah, I think yeah. the the most important is. Uh, for 5G, uh, let's stay on 5G, is how do we get more fiber to the uh, the cell towers, you mm -hmm. know, the towers that we have. Now, how do we do that fast? So the best is do you have a collaboration with mm -hmm. who's having the most fiber in the country. Right? Mm -hmm. Of course, Telkom is the number one, and uh, you know uh, Moratel Indo is the second one. So mm -hmm. I think that's the fastest way for us to get more fiber to the site. That's why we are saying we are more ready with this, you know, uh, collaboration we have with them. Mm -hmm. And I think that will take us faster to mm -hmm. be ready for 5G. Okay, so also this is what the customers want also yes, in the yes. next few years. Yeah. We will talk uh, even more further about this on the next segment. Right. Thank you. We, because we have to catch a break. Dan pemirsa CNBC Tech Conference 2021 mengusung tema Future 5G. Global Connectivity, Cloud Computing, and Internet of Things akan kembali usai jeda berikut ini. Tetaplah bersama kami. Jangan lupa untuk install aplikasi CNBC Indonesia di App Store dan juga di Play Store untuk terus mengikuti informasi dan berita terkini terkait ekonomi dan juga bisnis.